Hi, my name's Simon from Motor Drive, and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, 1961 Jaguar Mark II 2.4 manual overdrive. You can see lurking behind me here two videos one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine starting and act, idling action at the end, or at the beginning of the driving video, actually. Hope you like them. Okay, quick video of start up and idling on this uh, Jaguar Mark II 2.4. Lights come on as they should. Press the starter button. It's nicely warmed up at the minute. We've just been out for a good run. As you can see, pressures and temperatures are fine. If I blip the throttle, all pressure goes up. It sits correctly at 40 psi at 3000 RPM. Now we'll show you under the bonnet. Okay, Mark II 2.4 engine there, just doing what it should. But I said it was when it's cold, but even when it's hot, I can still hear a very slight chump of the Okay, let's take this uh, Mark II Jaguar 2.4 manual overdrive for a spin. Now it's showing 6,900 miles. Clearly that isn't correct. Whether it's 107,000 miles or if it's done 7,000 miles since it was restored, can't tell you at the minute. I haven't, haven't looked at the history, but um, I'll see if I can work out what it might be once I look at the history. But um, I've just been out for a spin in it. It's really nice. Um, the overdrive works properly. It's just uh, just a pleasant place to be. It's no rocket ship like a 3.8, um, but it still moves along at a nice steady pace. Anyway, ignition key, ignition on. Let's turn the fan off for a minute. Um, yeah, the ignition light comes up as it should. Starts nicely. When it's stone cold, you do get a bit of a, you can just, feel of or hear rather um, a very slight leak from the manifold to downpipe gasket but when it's warmed up you can't but you know I'm being a little bit picky there I think um, what else oh yes um, clutch pedal is bite point is slightly higher than uh, than I would like um, but not horrendously so and uh, yeah let's take it up moss box on it so no synchro on first I used to specialise in these 30 years ago, I seem to have forgotten most of uh, most things about it. Now one thing that is really irritating, the steering wheel is almost entirely upside down. You can see it here, that chrome bit should be down there. <laughs> so um, somebody got that a bit wrong. But it's uh, stately. Take the acceleration. Stately performance. One thing I have noticed, one of the, um, I think the ball joint on the bottom of the uh, uh, the front suspension near side um, is a bit worn because it does clunk occasionally over bumps. Probably won't do it now, but it was doing it earlier. drive very smoothly. What could be nicer than going down a country lane, arm out the window, sun shining, just enjoying a Mark II Jag. Um, oil pressure is fine, temperature is fine, no signs of any misfiring hesitancy or overheating from the motor. Track's pretty straight, rides nicely. As I say, you have got some um, 
a bit of a clunk, clunky ball joint down there. Twos have got disc brakes all around, but they're nothing like modern discs, um, and it is quite a heavy car to stop. But they do do the job, but uh, as I say, they're nothing like as good as modern disc brakes. I just flicked it out of overdrive there, quite happy with that, no problem. Didn't clunk. boxes there as the moment I dropped it into second with no launching. steering so when you're moving the wheel station when you're stationary yeah it is a little bit heavy fortunately this one hasn't got wide wheels on it once you're moving you don't notice the lack of power steering I think people were stronger in the uh, in the early 1960s Settles down to a nice idle at uh, 700 RPM, 800 RPM, and it's just, yeah, just a pleasant place, pleasant car to drive, pleasant place to be. Hope you liked it.